Hey guys, this is Rob with the next video in the electrical Revit model creation series, the shortcut version. Um, we left off having, uh, in part one, created, at least starting uh, to create an electrical model. We linked in, prepared the architectural model and we linked it in. And now we are going to continue on. We had some level issues to deal with. Uh, so we will work on that. We're also going to uh, uh, deal with the level level issue and the project base point issue. Then we'll deal with um, uh, creating an overall working view where we can create a thing called the scope box. Um, we're going to create plan and ceiling views for each level. We're going to um, edit and modify the view templates to deal with our linked model, the visibility of our linked model, uh, the architectural model. And then we're going to set up what's called work sharing so that we can have multiple people uh, editing our electrical model at the same time. Again, we have uh, lighting and power and even technology all in this same electrical model. So we'll set it up so we can work on it simultaneously. With that in mind, let's get right into it. Um, let us open our existing electrical model um, in our electrical folder. As you can see, there's one up here that has a 002. You'll, you'll see some that have different numbers. That is the backup that Revit has created. Remember, we told it only make one backup. Well, because each backup is the same size pretty much as the original model. So um, do not open the backup. Let's make sure we open up the actual most recent model. Again, down here, you won't see anything about central or creating local um, since this is not yet a uh, work sharing central model yet. We'll get into that uh, later. Let's open our model, give it time to load. So we're going to jump right into the level uh, issue that we ran into where um, our level in our electrical model level one, which is the only level we have um, in the template and the rest of the levels that we copy don't line up at the right elevation. So we're going to have to address that with the, what's called the project base point. It's uh, a point that's hidden in the views uh, we can't see it in plan view can't see it in section we have to um, unhide that so that we can make ours match the architect's model base point um, since we're dealing with a elevation height um, issue we're going to do this in a elevation view so if we go over here in our project browser Let's click on this, double click the south elevation. And here we go as a reminder, we have this, it's kind of bunched together because we have two levels, two level ones in a sense, but we have a level one at one foot four where the architect's level is at zero. So we have a one foot four inch difference. We need to note that. So zoom out, what we're going to do is turn on the project base point. Uh, first of all, we want to see if we have a view template controlling this elevation view. We do not, which means that we can now jump up here to edit our visibility and graphics. If we did have a view template, we would have to click here and edit the visibility within the template. So we, that's an easy place to get confused is, do I go here or do I go here? Well, if you go here and you have a template, things will be grayed out. You can't change it anyway, so that will be your clue. But in this case, we don't have a template assigned to this view. So let's edit it here. Again, we can edit the model, our model. We can edit our annotations. Uh, we can edit um, like imported things like CAD. We can also get to the links, the Revit links, like our architectural model and edit that. But let's 
deal with our model. This project base point happens to be within, these are categories, it happens to be a subcategory within a category called site because it's dealing with the site issues. So if we expand site, we will see a thing called project base point. It's unchecked right now, so it's hidden. If we check that and say OK, and zoom out a bit, there we go. What we have are these, they look like exit signs to us electrical folks. They're little crisscrosses. The gray one, I can't select because up here under my select, we had unchecked links or pinned elements. So that's in the architectural model. I can't touch it, but I can get to this one and they don't zoom. This one is ours. Click on that. That's a project base point. And is it zero north, south, zero east, west, and is it zero elevation? We need that elevation to be raised up to match the architects. What was our difference? It was one foot, four inches. So it, let's move ours up one foot four. So click on elevation, elevation, one foot, four inches. Enter. There it is. It moved up. It's now exactly on top of the architectural. Escape out. Now our levels match up. Our old level one. Now, because these are so close together, we can't read them. If you click on the level, not not the not the datum, not the circle, but actually click on the level, you'll see this little padlock. That means that this level is locked to the other levels. If I move it, they all move together. Well, I'm trying to separate this out. So let me unlock it for now and then move it away. Now we can move it by itself. So our level one, which was in our template, is below the level one that we copied from the architectural model. We have too many level ones. We need to get rid of one. Well, our level one, if we try to delete this level one, we're going to get a bunch of errors, uh, warnings. Um, the idea is along with this selection, along with this level, 16 elements and six views will be deleted. We have ceiling and floor plan views already created from this level, so they will be gone. We will lose all those levels. So we do not want to delete this level. Cancel out of that. Let's delete the copied level. We don't need two. We'll delete, hit delete. And we've got a warning here that it's a coordination monitor. Remember we copied and monitored these levels so that it's given us a warning that we are changing something that's monitoring. So we can click out of this warning, but that's what comes up if the architect, for example, moves a level. You'll get a warning like this, a coordination warning that you need to uh, pursue to find out what changed. So it's okay. Now we need to make this level. First of all, let's call it level zero one to match the rest of our levels. And let's move it up to zero. Now our level one is at zero, the same as the architectural level. Elevator pit, negative five. So we are all in sync with the elevations of our levels. Now we can move this back to line up right there with the others and it automatically locks. So now we are good. Now our model is at the appropriate height. This is very important. I've had projects where this base point actually changed later in the project's development and that affects every element that you have installed in the model from there on. Every light fixture, every um, receptacle was now at the wrong height. So you want this to match from day one and urge your architect to not change it ever.